wanted to do in trying to kind of launch a new year two Gotham was to have it be as if all of these characters that we know in Gotham sort of already exist. And here we have a version of this character who is not yet the Joker, but is going to become the Joker. And I wanted Batman to have had an experience with him that put him in Arkham. Uh, so something happened in that first year, and they, they have a connection right from the beginning. And I wanted this version of the character to go all the way back to the original Bob Kane, Bill Finger mm -hmm. inspiration, which is uh, Conrad Veidt in the silent film, The Man Who Laughs, who, it's like a Phantom of the Opera story, um, and his face is, is locked in a permanent smile because he has this kind of um, degenerative disease. And so what Mike Marino and I talked about was kind of like the Elephant Man, thinking about a character who, you know, there are all these iterations of the Joker. There, of course, is the classic uh, version where he fell into a vat of chemicals. There's what Nolan did with uh, the knife scars. And um, we talked about this idea. What I was interested in was this notion that the Joker would have been marked from childhood, the way that all the characters in the story really are kind of marked by events in their childhood, in his case, from birth, because he had this, this affliction that was like the Elephant Man, where he um, has this degenerative disease, and he has this kind of horrifying smile that's been plastered on his face, and he's, his whole worldview has been formed by the world looking at him like he was a terrifying freak since he was a child. And instead of the sort of legend of John Merrick, who was supposedly a very soulful, beautiful person behind all of the exterior that frightened people, here the idea would be that he, his exterior would form the interior and that he um, would have a very kind of uh, dark view of humanity and also would be used to people looking at him in a way that he felt that he could start to get inside of their brains to sort of... He sort of has you uh, at his mercy because you're frightened just to look at him and he's used to that and um, he has no real um, sort of belief in the goodness of people but instead has a kind of insidious psychological uh, understanding of the way people respond. And in this scene, the idea was that the Joker, or not yet the Joker, the unseen prisoner, would be enjoying toying with Batman because he sees this connection that actually is one of the key parts of the arc of the whole movie, which is that he... Um, he knows that they, Batman really sees things very much the same way the Riddler does, and that Batman is unnerved because he knows that he feels that these people in some way deserve what was coming to them, but it's not acceptable for him. So he's pushing this notion away throughout the whole movie. And when we were putting the movie together, this scene, even though I think that Barry and Rob did such a cool scene together, um, it was one of these things where narratively it wasn't necessary. You got everything that Barry was telling him, that the Joker was telling him over the course of the movie, and given the great length of the movie, it helped the story to take the scene out. But I always really loved the work that Barry and Rob did in the scene. And I think one of the fun things to talk about in terms of what Mike Marino and I talked about was I said, you know, I, he... I always wrote it in the script that he would be out of focus and that you'd only see his mouth close at the end and that's where you would realize that this is some early iteration of the Joker. But Mike only had the out of focus space to work with to try and create that Conrad Veidt um, classic sort of style of image. And so everything he did, he was kind of sketching in the out of focus part of the frame. And um, I think he did a beautiful job here. As he did, you know, obviously, Mike also did Colin's makeup for Penguin, and he's, he's really kind of a master. And this is, of course, the key to the whole scene, which is that he does think that they deserve it.